Trade communications in convenience grocery retail is changing at a rapid pace, reflecting the seismic changes that we're seeing in the sector. Independent Retail News and Talking Retail recently announced some exciting new changes within their group, including a new WhatsApp group and a new video channel. This has prompted me to discuss the six key trends that are impacting trade communications today. Printed trade magazines continue to be read, trusted and valued by convenience retailers, but the content in them is changing to reflect the changing needs of retailers. We're seeing more in-depth analysis, context and category management advice. Websites and social media is where we're seeing the breaking news and the product stories, so giving retailers information in real time. It's really important for suppliers to review and change their trade media and trade PR strategies accordingly. Convenience retailers and wholesalers were initially slow to adopt digital, but they've now embraced it. Laptops, iPads, tablets, smartphones are commonplace in our everyday lives and they're now commonplace in business. Retailers are using it for business content. So it's really important for suppliers to deliver really compelling, engaging content that drives a call to action. Now there's a variety of different platforms available from trade media websites, social media, wholesalers, digital platforms, and a whole host of other different media. So it's about choosing the right platforms, for the right message at the right time. If a picture tells a thousand words, then video can tell many thousands more. Video is a really powerful storytelling tool, and if used well in trade, it can really engage retailers and drive that call to action. So it's really important to choose the right platform, to understand what the right content is, and how you can deliver that through video. Being part of the social conversation in convenience retail is no longer optional, it's essential. We're seeing trade media use it with great effect. We're seeing convenience retailers embrace it, using it with shoppers and the business community. And we're seeing many suppliers use it also, but perhaps more for a corporate voice. What I'd like to see is more suppliers using social for really strong trade communications dialogue. Now I've been using WhatsApp with a number of influential convenience retailers on behalf of our clients for a number of years. It's really exciting that Talking Retail has launched its own WhatsApp group and I'd be really interested to see how that evolves. My advice to suppliers would be to avoid using WhatsApp for any overt selling. That's not what it's there for. It's about being available for advice, for information and keeping in touch with influential convenience retailers when you need it to. It'd be really interesting to see how the platform evolves in the years to come. Now, traditional trade communications alone are no longer effective. It's really important to adopt new approaches and new content strategies to engage with convenience retailers today. Now, unfortunately, I often hear from fed up journalists, disgruntled commercial teams, and bemused convenience retailers who simply don't understand why even some of the biggest FMCG companies in the country today are using outdated or consumer-centric agencies to deliver trade communications. It simply falls down and it doesn't work, so change is needed. It's really important to put specialists in place to deliver trade communications. It's a false economy otherwise. 